Hi, Rosa. Hey. How are you? Let me Hello. get you in the frame here. Hey. There you go. Hi. Oh, I got a little curly cue. Look at that. Wow. You look fabulous. Thanks. <laughs> so congratulations on season two of Undone. Big fan of season one. Thank you. Uh, I got to ask about the uh, this, uh, rotoscoping, acting, performing, and rotoscoping. Like, is it different or is it the same as any acting? Oh no, it's incredibly different and it's 50 times more challenging, awesome. but uh, 50 times more rewarding. Wow. Um, because on a regular set, you have a practical environment. You've got, you know, let's say you're in the living room, you've got a couch, you've got a TV, you've got a door, you've got a painting on the wall, there's a piano and you know where everything is and you can interact with it freely. On a rotoscope set, you have tape on the ground and that's it. it wow. You know, a lot of the time, Hisco, our director, will be like, oh, wait, 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 cut, you can't walk there. And you say, why? Oh, because you just walked through a piano. <laughs> you don't have a, you don't have these material objects to guide you and bump you along. So it does take a fair amount of, um, you know, your imagination. But that's what I love about it. It's why it's so rewarding. It's like, you're stripped of all of these, like, earthly things, and that way, you you can you can really go deep into your imagination mm. and rely on it and trust it and grow it and that reminds me of being a kid mm. and playing and I want to get as much of that back as I can and especially in this job that's why I started doing this job is because I want to uh, I want to play and this allows me to play now it's more challenging because because there are no setups or no set changes and you know because you're not doing hair and makeup and wardrobe because you're not saddled with all of that worldly sh shit you uh, you know you're doing like 10 to 20 pages of dialogue a day you're doing scene after scene after scene after scene because you can move very 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 quickly there's not a lot of lighting changes there's no set changes like you're there's no location moves it's just us in a room banging this out. Wow. And so it, it, it can be really, really taxing and exhausting, but it really feels like you leave it all out on the field every day. I mean, it feels like theater. Now, I'm, I'm cheering for Alma's time travel with, with you know, theory with the dad thing, but at the same time, I feel sad because she might have some mental health. Like, how do you, how do you, you know, track that balance you know, in your performance? Because it's such a complex character. She is a complex character, and I think that uh, both can exist simultaneously. Uh, you know, like there's a non-duality there. Um, she she has a lot of behavioral issues. Right. <laughs> you know, aside from having like men, just mental issues, mental illness, or whatever, what have you. Like she's got a lot of like obsessive quality, especially when it comes to this, you know, power situation. I mean, she has powers and she can be quite obsessive about them. And I think that, you know, she's been doing a lot of this, you know, like trying to fix her dad, trying yes. to fix her mom. Now, oh, we've gone deeper into their timeline. Oh, now this is where things went wrong. Let's go to there and fix that. Oh, wait, that unravels this. Now we have to go there and fix that. And she's so obsessive about her sister, you know, harnessing her powers that she didn't ever really stop to look inward. Not once has this character gone like, well, I need to fix me. You know, I, she's I need to fix my dad. I need to fix my mom. Why are you obsessed? She's so loving about her family to an obsessive degree. And that's all she can really focus on that by the end of it, you go, you know, and, and this makes me cry because I think this is what we're all, um, this is a crisis we all face is a crisis of self. Yeah. You know, you get to this place where you're like so focused on things that like your career and this and that you don't stop to look inward and I think she gets to that place but and going like I left myself behind mm. and I think if there would be a third season I think we would you know take that journey inward awesome. and, and uh, I would I'd love to see it so keep watching it and spreading the word I'm Rosa Salazar and you're watching Rama's Screen